On the line, the mother of Heath, David Gardner. Linda Gardner, good afternoon. Good afternoon, Darren. How are you? Well, I'm very, very well. I know I've said to you at the end of that 60 Minutes piece last night, I said uh, that words aren't enough, I can't thank you enough, but I hope you know, in the time we've spent together, that... Uh, just how, how grateful I am and just what a wonderful thing you have done with you and, and, and Trevor and, and, and your daughters. Um, not only to make this happen, but to, to actually go on television and talk about it. Yes, it means a lot to all of us, Darren. I'm glad to see you're healthy and well. That's the main thing. Did, did you really know, did you really guess a mother's instinct that that Darren Hitch has got my boy's liver? Yeah, I just knew intuition. I was just kept eating away at me, wondering if, you know, I was just imagining or, you know, you just can't really put your finger right on it, but you just know. Did you know that um, that Kimberly was going to write to me on, on New Year's Day? No, we talked about writing a letter together anonymously, which we were supposed to do and just see and let you know what we, you know, try to put as much as we could, but then Kimberly decided to go one step further and email you. <laughs> Well, I'm, I'm glad she did because, well, I didn't know if it was legal or not. And I, I noticed on Twitter some people last night saying, oh, disgusting, Darren Hinch, how you've chased down and named these, this fam family. And I thought, well, I, I do believe that from my side, the recipient should not go looking. I don't think that's fair. But if the donor family wants to, I think you're, you're entitled to know. And, and I think it's a wonderful thing you've done. Yeah. 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 So now... I, I, I know when we met the first time, I said I didn't know whether to hug you, to, to, to shake your hand, what to do, and or drop <laughs> on one knee to talk to you and thank you. But and I, what I admired about you and, and your daughters, you were prepared to answer all the questions. I mean, you knew that things would come out last night on television about your son that you, you don't really like and I guess you're not very proud of. No, I don't like his memory to be for that for bad reasons because we knew him, the whole person. Everyone has good and bad, but there was good too, but... The focus isn't on that in the media mm. today. It's mostly, that's what saddened me today. It's mostly on the bad, mm. you know what I mean. Well, well out, anyway, out of it has, has come some good. Yeah. I, I don't know if you want to talk about this yet because I know that an inquest is coming up, but do you, do, I know mean, some members of your family really believe that, that, that Heath didn't kill himself, that he may have been murdered. Do you feel that way? I can't, I have feelings. There's just something not right, and plus, uh, probably because it's been going on so long, you know, that they can't give a verdict to they can say 100% we think it was this or that, and we're not hearing anything. So obviously there's no mm. answer yet. Well, that's the way I feel. I mean, I normally would say that... Um, I, I'd normally say that when you lose somebody so young and so s savagely, you'd, that a conspiracy theory is a... Is, an, is, an, is, is, is understandable, but I wouldn't agree with it. But this time I think there are reasons why you should have doubts. Yes. I really believe you should have doubts. Yes, that's right. You know. um, there's one other thing that um, you don't know, Linda. Yeah. I think I know who was the recipient of Heath's heart. You do? Yes. Okay. Would, would, and would you like me to put you in touch with them? Yes, I would. Because I think what you've done for me, I think is so wonderful. And I think if you could know that and I'll, I'll make sure it's, it's all I'll make sure like we did with you and me to make sure it's real before we don't raise anybody's hopes or okay. misguide anybody I understand that. but uh, I think you I think you should know that and also what other people have asked me about today we didn't break any law you know oh, that and good. I know that we didn't break it yeah. I've broken <laughs> enough um, we didn't break any laws um, okay. the medical people like Bob Jones or the people in the liver transplant unit cannot help me or anybody couldn't t couldn't give you information about me and couldn't give me information about you. But if, okay. if donors and recipients um, want to get together and somehow find each other, then that's not illegal, so we're, we're clean. Oh, that's good. <laughs> no. <laughs> and the other thing I want to tell you is that, was that your first time on television last night? Yes. Well, I'll, sh I'll send them to you, the tweets I've got, the emails I've got, saying what a wonderful person you are and how beautifully you conducted yourself. You, I, I, and I, I agree with every one of them. You were, mar you were wonderful. Oh, that's kind. <laughs> no, you, you, you were just wonderful, and um, and and you have helped you and 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 Kimberly and 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 Mel, and also Trevor. What you what you have done by going public with this about uh, about being an organ, about being a family that go went ahead with organ donors like this, and showing the recipient walking around and causing trouble. Um, you've done a great thing for the for the campaign. Oh, I'm glad of that. I hope to do that. Yeah. So.
Anyway, it's good to talk to you, and I'll talk to you off air. Okay, thanks, Jeff. Thanks, Linda. Thank you. Bye. Bye Bye-bye. That's the mother of my organ donor, Heath uh, David Gardner. It was amazing, and uh, that time of, um, I won't kid you, that those days when we didn't know if, if the organ I was getting to save my life was going to kill me, they weren't easy. 96900 693, take some calls after the break. 